an animated film with my baby, my four-year-old, little Miss Paige, who joins us today. And it's called Zootopia. So, at the beginning of the movie, the little girl is getting ready to pursue her little dreams, you know, heading over to Zootopia, which is another place somewhere else where she, you know, was going to go. And as she got ready to board the train, her father asked, did she know how him and her mother had stayed so happy? She responded, no. And then he countered with, by staying complacent. I like to throw up. What do you mean by staying complacent as if that is okay? How often do we cause somebody else to abort their mission based on that type of verbiage. So as disturbing as that is to me to think that someone would think it's okay, you know, he also stated, when you don't try something new, you can't fail. But that's the wrong mindset, the wrong perspective to have about life and different opportunities as they present themselves. So that leads me to vision. You know, there are two forms of vision. And that's to see or sense with your natural eyes. And then you also have um, the act of what may be. The power of knowing what can be. So, what is your vision today? What is it that you desire to see come to pass or that you would like to work towards? And for some reason, someone has spoken something over you that caused you to abort the mission. See, we have the ability to pour and speak life over each other. Children, you know, relatives, friends, whatever, whoever. Then we also have the power in our tongues to totally destroy instead of building up. And I think people spend more time using their tongue in a negative way and destroying dreams, visions, Whatever, whatever it may be, we just tend to think that thing is not possible. And so because we are feeding ourselves those lies and allowing that thing to get that big and our fear takes over, we don't pursue the thing that we should be pursuing. We don't attempt to accomplish the thing that we have been dreaming all of our lives. And this doesn't have any... You know, it doesn't matter what age you are. No matter the age, you have gifts on the inside of you and the ability to get up and go. And if that is the case, you need to be pursuing it. It doesn't matter if you're 16 or 60. You still have an opportunity to get up, go, and do the thing that you should be doing. The thing that you have envisioned, prayed about, fast about, or were called to do. See, we just get all outside of ourselves and in the natural not understanding how the supernatural is going to propel us into another place, catapult us on a whole nother level because it's what it's supposed to be. It's what we're destined to do or be. And I, you know, my vision is big for myself, for the community, for my family, that's immediate family, extended relatives, friends. If you have any friends in your circle who are not, talking about their dreams, their visions, their goals, and you are trying to obtain those things, you might need to start to let them go. Sometimes it's because of what we're connected to that we abort the mission or who we're connected to. And so we have to start understanding if this is what God is telling me to do and I need to go out and do this work, then I've got to separate myself, which you know we've already had that conversation before to separate yourself from the people who are hindering you or not allowing you to get where you need to be then at the same time the fear takes over and fear is so big you know fear is almost like something we make up on the inside of ourselves typically and because of it we're paralyzed Yo, Tika. That's my baby, y'all. I'm sorry. So, you know, it's like 
you no longer want to do what you are supposed to be doing because you are so afraid. And sometimes that fear is not even real. You ask yourself, what am, what am I so afraid of? If you've never even tried it, then you really don't know why you're so fearful. And fearing the unknown is something that you're going to have to just dive into. So, you know, if you don't know exactly what's going to take place, it's not going to hurt you to try to find out. And usually what's on the other side of that fear is greatness. You know, when, once you get beyond the fear, there's something very great lying on the other side of that. So all the times that I have not wanted to do something because I was afraid to do it, once I did it, I realized how awesome it was. Michael. It is. Michael. Shh, go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody at the window. So it's just that, you know, my prayers are for us to begin to understand that through our natural eyes, and through our spiritual eyes, that we have the ability to be great, that we have the ability to get up off of our seats and make a difference in the world, have a great impact, touch lives, you know, minister in whatever way in which you were destined to do, whether that's businesses, whether that's teaching, whether that's nursing, whether that is writing a book, whatever it is, you should be doing it. You shouldn't be afraid to do it. And if you are afraid to do it, it's more than likely that that is what you're really supposed to go do. You know, to stand in front of crowds of people and speak may seem like a scary thing, but I know that's where I'm, I'm going. You know, those are my prayers that when I get there, I'm going to be ready and I'm going to be able to perform and do what I need to do to touch whoever I'm supposed to touch at whatever appointed time that is. So it doesn't matter that it's, you know, if, even if you're afraid, if God has called you to do it, you will be able to do it. When you stand in front of whatever crowd or when you begin to put things together for your business or as you begin to deal with your patients at work because you're nursing or parenting, even that, as you begin to take care of your children in whatever way, those things that God has already ordained and destined you to do, you're going to do just fine. So we have to be mindful that we are speaking the things that we wish to see manifest over ourselves, over other people, in our own lives, on a daily basis. From the moment we wake to the moment we go to sleep, what are you conjuring up? What are you calling forth in your life? Good, bad, positivity, negativity, you know, failure, success. What is it that you're trying to stir up on the inside or to make manifest on the outside? Sometimes we don't even know. We're just so busy going through our everyday life, hustle and bustle, same old routine, out of habit. We create these things that we don't even realize we, we now do because we do everything the same every day. And, you know, some people are really disturbed when they get out of their routine and, and they, you know, feel like the whole world has fallen apart because one thing is out of order in their whole day. Well, to me, that seems like torture. That everything has to be the exact same all the time. I don't think it was meant to be the same. You know, just like we're very different individuals, things are supposed to be different. And everything can't remain the same at all the time. Matter of fact, this week I actually did a video when I was talking about how change is inevitable. And all the time things are changing. Different things, of course. But no matter what it is, everything is always changing all the time. But that's part of the cycle of life. That's the way it works. That's the way it has always been. And it's actually the way it will always be. So we don't have the ability to stop and no longer be changing. You know, if you stay stuck because you choose not to change, you're entitled to that. But then don't be upset because people are leaving you and you are no longer, you know, with that crowd that you tried to stay with because people have to drop you off and let you go because they are going somewhere that you are choosing not to go. And then some of us are just simply made to do whatever you may be doing. It may be that. And you may not have, you know, outlandish dreams or goals. And that's okay. Part of our issue is the fact that we think you have to do or be this really big person, you know, in order to be successful or in order to be relevant and important. And that's not accurate. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, if, if you were born... To stand out, you're going to stand out. If you are functioning in your gift and working and 
making it through, I'm sure people recognize you, people notice you, and that's important, you know, that we acknowledge when someone's doing something good and someone's doing something great. But don't all, don't get caught up in it and think that if nobody acknowledges you, that you don't need to continue doing the good works because you do. So it doesn't matter, you know, whether someone's speaking that to you and high-fiving or patting you on the back, none of which is going to be, you know, it's not going to matter because the work is what's important. Being obedient to God and doing what it is you're supposed to be doing. Even at my age, you know, I thought to myself, gosh, it would have, it would have been real nice to know exactly what I wanted to do as soon as I got out of school. I done been out of school about 20 years, but, you know, I'm, I, I really believe that had I known that at that time and not made as many mistakes as I have along the way, I wouldn't have learned as much as I've learned. And to each his own, you know, the experiences I've had and the mistakes that I've made have taught me so many lessons, very important lessons, lessons that allow me to relate to people who others may think that, you know, are unrelatable. But I'm able to speak to people and encourage people and understand people on a whole nother level because of my own journey, my own experiences, my own life. And when you can speak based on what your experiences are and you have a passion for what you're doing because the fire has already been lit beneath you and it's something that you have already been in, you know, and you can explain to somebody how to come out of that struggle or how to let go of this and, you know, those things come naturally and you feel confident and good in doing so. For me, that's what is worth is experience because it is the very best teacher. And you know, when you have a gift of any kind, people will try to talk you into doing something else or people will try to dumb down what you have going on because they want to project their own fears or their own uncertainty onto you. Don't let people do that to you. Don't allow what they have going on internally to cause you to not do what you're called to do. So you have to get into what is my vision? What is What are my dreams? What are my goals? And those things that I'm planning to achieve and starting right now in this moment, begin to achieve them. Little by little. It, it happens and it can happen in small increments and it doesn't have to be that everything takes place overnight because you know it just doesn't work. Try your best every single day from the moment you wake to the moment you go to sleep whenever things come your way that you don't necessarily like or you thought you weren't prepared for dig deep pray exhale let it go and move on try again keep trying until you get where you're going and i hope to see you there this week has been a great week or last week was a great week i'm hoping your week was great as well um I want to shout out J. Harold King, happy belated birthday to my niece, Ariel King. She celebrated her birthday this week as well. If you all would like to start calling in next week, I'd like to start taking some calls, change it up a little bit. I have enjoyed being in this seat every week. I absolutely love you all. I hope you have a marvelous week. I'll be praying for you. Do what you do best, and that is being you. How you doing, young man? All right, keep on talking. Keep on talking. You got it. Oh, got a little more time on me. Two more minutes. I get set up. Go ahead. I'm gonna keep talking here, y'all. I was gonna, talking. I was gonna wrap it up. He came in. I thought it was my cue to get done here. Daddy, that's <laughs> try. Got my baby over there trying to, trying to say something. Bring on in. Let, let's say a few words, I guess. Paige, come here. Let Paige say a few words. Go ahead, say you you want to say hey? Well, he, he done scared of y'all. She just, you know, Who's scared? <laughs> DJ didn't scare of <laughs> um, You want to tell him something good? Look at the camera, baby. Look at camera two. Look over there. Camera two. Okay. And you sing, baby? Yeah. You can sing. Say a few words for me. Um, a Jesus, um, we like to sing. 
Go ahead and sing, baby. You gonna sing a little bit? You ain't gonna sing? You do? Not right now. We wanna do stuff a part of it, so I'm gonna talk later, so go ahead, Mommy. She said she's gonna talk later, told me to go ahead, y'all. Actually, by y'all. Oh, oh, uh -oh. She, okay. Okay, all right. She said, <laughs> actually, bye, y'all. You, you got a shout out you want to give? You want to tell somebody, hey? Hey. Who you talking to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, we're talking to me. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, baby. All right, that's my sweetheart. Yeah, that's my baby.